In less than a week, chartered planes will touch down in Prince George and drop off some of Canada's best young athletes. With the Winter Games drawing closer, the Prince George Airport is preparing itself for over 15,000 visitors by adding a number of different features. It won't be long before athletes make their arrivals at the Prince George Airport. We're just trying to, uh, you know, have a, an incredible atmosphere here at the airport. Uh, it is the first impression that people will have of our city, so we're doing everything we can to make it a pleasurable experience. The signs have been up for months, touting the host city of the Games. Art installments and pageantry decorate much of the terminal. The arrivals area will host a customer service desk for visitors. Anything games related, any passengers getting off a flight, even if they're not uh, even um, aware that the games are going on, they can stop by this booth, figure out what's going on, what games they want to take in, what is going on at uh, downtown at the Civic Centre. Stations are now in place to keep visitors fully charged. Additional seating has been added throughout the holding area for a massive influx of people. A very crazy couple of days here at the airport. We're excited, we're ready, and uh, we just can't wait to showcase uh, what we can do and of course have everyone experience our city. Athletes start arriving Thursday and airport traffic is expected to be more than 230% of an average day. Week 1 athletes and Week 2 athletes will both use the airport on the 21st, making it the busiest travel day of the event. Flights have been chartered for athletes on four airlines. Some will arrive at the airport terminal, others will land here on the Boeing Road apron. All athletes will be bussed to their hotels in town. Phil Bolio says the vast majority of visitors will be staying in Prince George. The homestay program was a, a huge success. There's still really great homes available to, uh, online if, you're, if that's what you want to do. And there's still accommodations uh, to be found in the local um, hotels as well. He says there were tentative plans to have visitors stay in Quinell and Vanderhoof. They would have been shuttled into the city, but that's no longer the case. We were able to work with the um, local car rental companies and they all committed to having vehicles available as long as they were booked in a, uh, early enough. In less than a week, the planning stages will be left in the past. After years of anticipation, officials across the city are hoping to see Prince George reach new heights. Ryan Kessler, CKPG News.